Docs view is an extension that I recently published that shows the documentation at the current cursor position in either the sidebar or the panel. This works across languages, and I find it can be a useful alternative or supplement to hovers. Here I already have the extension installed, so let's take a look at it in action in this TypeScript file. So by default, the docs view will go and show in the Explorer. So over here in my Explorer section, you can see I have a new documentation view here, and that is showing the documentation for the symbol at my current cursor position. So in this case, it is array.push. You can see that we have the method signature here, and then the method documentation, along with documentation for all of the parameters. Now, if you're not seeing this documentation section, make sure it is expanded. So click on the little chevron here. And then if it's still not showing, right click in the Explorer header here, and then make sure documentation is checked so that docs view is enabled. And I can just kind of click around and see the documentation all the time that is going to be shown for my current cursor position. Now, this is the same information that is shown in hover. So if I go to match here, for example, you can see it's the same information that is being shown in the hover. Why might you want to use the docs view instead? Well, it's always shown at a consistent location, and it's always being updated in real time based on wherever my cursor is. So I don't have to go and trigger it by moving the mouse around or using a command or anything like that. So you might find that this is more convenient. And if you really like using the docs view, you could even consider disabling the hovers themselves and just always relying on the docs view. Now, the docs view can also be moved around. So if I don't like it in the sidebar over here, I can move it down into the panel instead. So let me open the panel, and then I'm just going to click and drag on the documentation header here. And I'm going to drag this down over into the panel, just like this. And you can see that I now have the same documentation down here in the panel. And I can just click around again, and it is being updated in real time. Now I have a wider display down here in the panel. Now, one other useful feature of the docs view, and one reason that I find myself using the docs view a lot, is to reference longer documentation. And if you need to do that, and you need to come back to keep referencing the same piece of documentation, you can actually pin the documentation. So when I go and I pin things here, so I'll just click on this little pin icon. You can see that as I start clicking around, the documentation will no longer be updated. So if I needed to just keep referencing this string.match function, pinning the documentation would be really useful because I could keep programming in my file. And then when I'm done with this documentation, I can just go and unpin things. And now you can see that the documentation is updating live again. So that's a quick look at the docs view extension for VS Code. As I mentioned, it works across languages, and you might find that you use it either like I do to supplement hovers or to replace hovers entirely.